We find ourselves on the rim world locally known as Nova Roma, a medieval tier tech planet where mechanoids and ancient technology have been long forgotten. This is a vast world filled with various races, ideologies, traditions and history. But our story follows one man in particular, Brent Glover, a jack of all trade travelling locksmith, as well as his trusty steed, his donkey Olive, after a goddess whispered sweet nothings in his ear to get him to be her representative on earth to uncover her armour and weapons, relics of the past, and spread her good name to the people of this land. The aim of this series is fairly simple. The first part will be dedicated to purely nomadic lifestyle, focusing on trade and questing, using two mods in particular, Caravan Activities Framework and my recently released mod, Settlement Quests. And whilst our main objective is finding these relics and spreading the goddess Ulu's name, Brent has dreamed about adventure since childhood, and amassing fame, fortune, and a following of his own is definitely something he wants to do. So, anyway, without further ado, I think we should pack up and get Brent and Olive on their merry way. We don't have much. We've got a tent, we've got some silver, and we've we've basically got nothing. We don't even have any food, so really, we need to get up and go ASAP, don't we, Olive? Come on then, let us head off, I think, first to this little town here. First of all, apparently the map has a bunch of treasure chests. That's exciting. And I'm going to take whatever we've got on this map, really, which isn't that much. Right, and here we go. Already our caravan is worth nearly 2,000 loot. That's kind of nuts. Um, I need to open all those treasure chests ASAP. But for now, before it gets to night, I think we should go and get to this town. Decency town. What a nice place. And they follow the cult of Jilemi, who's the goddess of harvest. I know lots of you probably won't care about this, but I've set up a whole pantheon, basically, of different gods. Some of them worship the same gods. So, for example, the god of life is worshipped by both the cult of Jilemi and the cult of Anesta. Anesta caused a devastating famine that killed many. As all hope was lost, a farmer heard the voice of the goddess Jelemi. No one of you stands above the whole. Work together or perish together. A band of like-minded farmers left their homeland to found a new collective state. While they still worship their old gods, Jelemi holds a special place in their hearts. Right, well let's see what they've got. Let's see if there's any quests available and see if they need our help. So we have the Caravan Activities Framework mod, which enables us to offer help to them. We can also steal from them. We can mine nearby resources. We can harvest and forage fields. You need to have relevant stats for that. And because we are pretty horrendous at herb law, uh, yeah, we can't do that. But a mod that I actually released, which was put together by the amazing modding community as well as Tarantruck, we have a chance to ask this settlement for a quest. We do have a small chance to fail. But for the meantime, we are starving. So do we have anything we can trade? Two of the lusty sordid maids. Uh, I think that's sell both of them. So I've got various mods enabled that change the texture of the things. We can drink these like potions instead of having to do the whole genetic stuff. We've got all sorts of things that change the names and the icons and everything. It'd be nice to get another donkey. Uh, can we afford it? Not really. We sell the beer we can, but then we've got no money for food. Well, food isn't that much of an issue. I would rather have a second donkey, if I'm honest. But we've also got a small child, Green. Uh, they'll join as a slave. Who's a fawn, who's actually a talented hunter. What's their ideology? Lift is a... Now, we are not a fan of slavery. It's against our ideology to sell people into slave. It's abhorrent. So we would probably want to release this person as soon as we bought them. Uh, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. It's probably a nice thing for us to start doing. So, okay, fine. You know what? Pull my finger. We'll get the child instead of the donkey. We'll, we'll be nice. We can always come back. That's fine with me. 
Uh, we are quite a long way from there, so we might want to take them with us and release them when we get closer, because always we're probably just sentencing them to death. So, let's ask for a quest. We do have a chance to fail, so this is going to be interesting. But, a quest. Supplies for Decency Town. Nearby Tesla in a Decency Town has a special trade request. They would like to purchase 10 hides. Okay. In exchange, they'll give us uh, Goodwill, Exalted Medicine, which is the yes, world, or Tiny Scaled Hides. So 10 hides worth 450, and they'll give us 27 tiny hides. That, okay. I guess the medicine would be nice. It's basically midnight. So what we can do is we can offer to help them. So what we can do is we can't do a huge amount. So I don't want to put too much risk on us. We can take responsibility for low effort, unskilled labor, which lasts a day, but we should get paid and well, paid in silver, a meager amount, but we also uh, improve our relations with them, which will be good. We could help with heavy but still unattractive labor or help with very dangerous labor, but it's needed. I guess we'll go with that one. Kind of the medium of the two. I'm sure Brent will be fine. Oh, I just realized we do not have any food though, do we? Uh, it's only a day. Oh, you've actually got magical attunement. So this, this child uh, is a psycaster. Okay. Well, maybe you should try and recruit them then. I mean, they're only a child. I, we don't know what's going on. Or at least see if they want to be recruited. They might not want to. I mean, we have just bought them. What we're going to do is we're going to fast forward time. He's going to work through the night, get this done. That will mean that we should then have enough silver to afford some food because we're starving. And then we can push on further afield. Activity outcome. Right, relations have improved by 25. That's amazing. Oh, we only got 352 silver. That's kind of pathetic. That is, I guess, enough for a donkey. I guess we'll buy a couple of that. Unless there's something better. Um, we do have these golden chests, <laughs> which I'm tempted by. You've got all these spells. Also got a liver for some reason. Without further ado, let us get that donkey and that little bit of food. And it's already really late. So I guess we have helped them, so I'm guessing they'll probably let us stay in their settlement for a bit. And then we will set off across the way. We could go to this settlement first, actually. I reckon let's go here first. We're already fairly friendly with them. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Got green Brent and the two donkeys in tow. Amazing. So I've kind of designed this world all around this high fantasy setting. So we have your standard typical settlements. Uh, we have this uh, magical academy archaeologists that are based in various strategic locations where they do excavations and try and find the meaning of life and all sorts of the history of this world. We have the pig kin from the Vanilla Expanded New Mod, so I'm interested to see about that, but they are all based around here. We've got the Saurids, who are based around the hotter tropical rainforests. We've got various wasters who are in the polluted zones. We've got a fierce noble faction who's actually made up mostly of insect races, which is quite interesting. We've got the Roller Nation, which is made of mothids. Various other clans dotted around the world. And we have the Frost Giants in the north who are kind of shut in to their northern territory by the Toll Treaty of Elves who keep them at bay. So we've got a really interesting little world dynamic going on, all in the background, whilst we are just going around exploring and doing our thing. So, I think we're just about to arrive. There we go, let us settle. Right, here we go. So, we've settled on this tiny little map. So, I've set the map size to 75 by 75, just because I think it makes it a lot nicer. The reason we have to settle is because the way that the settlement quests mod works is that it generates quests around your character and your caravan rather than the settlement itself. However, some rewards still go back to your settlement. So what I've done is I've set it so that the map size is super small, so it's quickly easy to load and not much happens here. But it means that if we do need to quickly run back to do a quest or to go and pick up rewards, we can do so. We're going to be constantly abandoning these and then setting them up as we go. We do also have the camping mod. So if we want to set one up and then do an extra campsite. So we've got we've got options. But right now, I think, uh, Brent, go put on your hood. I don't want that wearing away. Green, we could try and convert you. I feel like Brent would want to convert this child, but we are quite hungry. So I guess what we'll do is we'll have a look to see if we can get any food. Harvest all the agave, all of that. I sold my tent, didn't I? I didn't actually mean to. Oh, balls. <laughs> 
Okay, um, whatever the case, we are going to open a couple of these chests that we've got. We're not opening the Pandora's boxes because they're terrifying. What did we get? We got a gene pack which has heat speed, unsettling appearance, and Hulk body. No, that, that's going to be sold. Uh, passive regenerator. Terrace's gene are bound to the background mana field. This bond is heavily attuned to life energy. This provides a conduit to attract life energy in a haze around them. Uh, it tends wounds on others nearby and regenerates them without any need. Oh, that's amazing. Right, and we also got a giant slate dragon statue. <laughs> Great. Right, let's open the next one. See what we can find in this one. We've got Terrace's gene are considered extremely powerful when it comes to raids. Raiders will consider them an insane threat when preparing to raid the colony, sending a lot more raiders to attack. Uh, why would you want that? <laughs> no, I think that's going to be sold as well. And we've got this one, which adds moss rings and a subtle red skin. That's quite cool. That would give us the ability to fly. Not sure if I really want that, though. And that's open the last box. Slate stone pot. A couple of bits of arcanium. And that... that Oh, and a sandstone pot. Right, okay. So we could do the advent of life. Um, If this is fun, we may discover an ancient complex. I reckon that's worth doing. We can find some extra bits and bobs nearby. That'll be good. But already we've got some loot that we can potentially sell, which will be nice. That's going to be a good amount of money we can get back and hopefully buy a tent again as well right green's gonna get involved this is nice brent heap glory on the moral structure of the universe brent acclaimed togetherness how nice and wholesome beach is over and the party begins what a fun party this is you've got raw agave fruit and some berries are you gonna do it by the river you're gonna have a little party by the river green chat is about fighting owls with brent <laughs> sure okay and there we go we got a fun advent of life we discovered the location of a ancient complex oh it's just there okay cool so we can go to this settlement then we can go back to this ancient complex that'll be quite fun it's a shame you have to imprison them to then recruit them i may have to do that as a formality at some point uh but for now i think green's fine as is they're not going to rebel well they're not going to rebel at all apparently so that's fine so and their learning is going up so i'm fine with that and they got word of trust oh this is amazing you're an amazing character already this is this is great so you are a commander by default. Word of productivity and blinding pulse. Blinding pulse would be amazing to have straight away. Yeah, that's let's go for blinding pulse. So you can actually be a fairly useful member of the colony. That'd be quite fun. Why are you sleep? Oh, that's because it's meant to be or a slave. I'm sorry. You're gonna sky dream. Fine. Well, we're gonna wait till the morning and then we are going to set off to that nearby town. Try and sell some of these goods. Right, for some reason Green decided to stay up all night sky dreaming um which didn't work very well because <laughs> now they're exhausted so caravan over uh we're gonna take everything just everything i think we go pack your things green we're heading off you didn't really get much sleep did you hurry up have your breakfast <laughs> raw agave fruit and that set off i know it's not very nice did dumb labor oh you don't like dumb labor oh yeah we're definitely gonna need to convert you then if your nature primacy oh yeah this isn't gonna work is it you're a little um, entitled little noble. Maybe you're the child of someone. I mean, let's have a look at you. It doesn't say who your parents are or anyone. We'll see. Maybe we'll just take you back. Maybe we won't try and convert you. I mean, you we have rescued you as a child. Maybe we'll just take you over there. I would like to just release them, but the problem is as soon as I do that, they're just going to die, aren't they? Right, the sun is already starting to set over the toll cliffs to the east. Come on, Brent. Hurry up. Just get there. I'm worried about how much loot we've got in our caravan because I do not want to get raided. We are not ready to be raided. So let's try and trade some of this away, I think. Ooh, spell books. Raid pause. Depending on the caster's magical attunement, slows all raiders on the map to a complete stop. That's insane. Why even acid spit it implant? You can implant it into a creature to give them... <laughs> Give the donkey wyvern acid spit. That's amazing. I'm guessing we're going to run out of food fairly quickly. So let's buy some food. Uh, just enough so it doesn't rot. We're going to need to make another tent, I guess. Let's buy enough for that. Okay, we could buy a Rottweiler. It'd be quite nice to have a little Rottweiler with us. Sure. You know what? We're going to buy a Rottweiler. And can we afford to buy this large golden chest? Yes, we can. Excellent. Right. That sounds like a good deal. Cool. Right. So we've got... Now, um, well, we can't sell these Pandora's boxes annoying. These Pandora's boxes, they generate events or incidents. So we really want to be careful because they could be good. They could be awful. We could get raided or we could get 
any anything at all. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. We might need to hold off on them for the time being until maybe we're desperate. Right, that's going to the Tavern of the Settlement and see if we can find a quest then. Job and Dylan, the divine secretary of Attilo, approaches us in the tavern. Apparently, Sorids are inhabiting a nearby ruin, and they've been raiding their caravans. The ruin is being controlled by the Kabonok Union. Joban is asking us to clear the ruins, and wants us to eliminate all enemies. In exchange, he's offering us either 12 demon blood, a steel blade armor of masterwork quality, or faction goodwill. The problem is that these ruins are huge, and we currently have a fairly unarmed character and a small child. I'm not quite sure. We'll wait for the 10 days just to see, and we needed, what do we need from this? We needed 10 hide. Do you have any hides? Huge elephant hide, large scale hide, or tiny heavy pelt. I just want a hide. What constitutes a hide? These raw hides and pelts were removed from a creature and with the right tools could be processed better. So I guess it's just a standard. I'm not quite sure that might not work as a quest. I'm not sure if a just hide in general works. I'm gonna leave that because I'm wide wind just not gonna be able to get it. This one, I'm very tempted by. This one for the steel plate armor, that could be huge for us. So I think I am gonna take it right there. Okay, that's fine. So tell you what, what what's the time? 18. Um, how long do we have it until the quest ends? 23 days. That's fine. Let's offer some help. Let's do some heavy but still unattractive labor. I think that's fine. And we will wait a day and then we'll come back. And I think then we will go explore this ancient outpost and then we'll go take on this large ruin. And here we go. Right. So our relations went up by another 25 by the look of it. And what else do we get? 552 silver. That was really good that time. Uh, we're going off to be able to a Ford some more tents, which is very nice. Tell you what, that starts going. Oh, is this this land polluted? We just at least get to there. I didn't get to there. Yep, set up camp. Green, you want to go and punch that beehive because that seems like a responsible thing that an adult would tell you to do. We could get some Viking tent set up, and that might be much better than a standard tent. We're gonna need some wood. That's fine. And Rottweiler, we're going to have to name these. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to rename the donkey and the Rottweiler, and I will, uh, yeah, rename them. Ooh, honey and a Oswin Crean. Right, um, well, you can load that into the pack, and please, that'd be nice. So I will be renaming our characters after my patrons going forward, but I want them to be a little bit more established, especially Green. I mean, she's a tiny little child. I think we need to, uh, yeah, get her properly set up before anything else. I wasn't expecting to have a child this series at all, but we seem to just <laughs> have uh, adopted Green, which is, which is fine by me, really. So I'm just a bit worried that you're going to turn out as an awful colonist with you being on the road all the time. You are learning just at a really, really, really slow rate. I might need to add another mod or something that uh, helps with that, because on the road, she's going to be an awful colonist unless we do something about that. Right, well, after a long night, we have two very oh, <laughs> two poor cloth Viking tents. Brent's exhausted. Spent all night pretty much uh, just cutting everything up. Green, for some reason, once again, spent most of the night just sleeping on the floor, sky dreaming, and think fell asleep. But she's fine. So, let's set off then. We need to go check out this ancient complex. Right, here we go. We're at the deadly outpost. Ooh, ancient ballistas. We've got some ancient ballista bolts. Oh, the Rottweiler has a tiny little bag on. That's adorable. You've got a Viking tent as well. You know what? Uh, can we get you? No, because you're not tamed at all. We need to tame you. Get Brent on that in a bit. Right, you. We're going down to here. We're going to see what we can find in this. I'm hoping something good. If we can't find anything, we're just going to run off the map very, very, very quickly. Oh, God. What's in here, then? Look at these corpses. Some of them are giant. Air of Sutra, Jotin, Ogres. Oh, there's a big fight out here. All right, we've got an ancient beacon. Activate for a supply drop. Ooh. Have a quick look through some of the other places. Got a ruined chest. Ancient Empire. Let's open some of these chests for anything else. Right, what do we get? 53 Oricalcum, right? Okay. Oh, we got gold. 64 gold ore come from gliders. Amazing. Ancient beds? Ancient storage units? Can we go through that? Or is that going to be... Oh, it's, it's all gone. Uh, okay, they're ruined chests as well. Explosive barrel, an ancient generator, and we've got that. 
Can you quickly deconstruct that barrel? No. Uh, run. What have you got? Okay, well, before anything else, before that barrel just explodes, I guess that's go. We should be able to just uh, repack everything and head off now, surely. Head over to there. Oh, it's going to take seven days to go through that. I reckon we go to there because then at least... I'd want it so that we're not in pollution. Yeah, let's go to there. That should be fine. And we can pick up all of the useful stuff that we can find. Oh, that's very heavy. A <laughs> uh, little bit of gold, which is nice. Um... Some home medicine, a couple of beers apparently on the floor. There are more Pandora's boxes and another couple of the lusty sword maids. Okay, we might need to go back there again to trade because uh, we're just running out of room. Okay, fine. Well, let's push on to there to begin with. Then we're probably going to have to rest up, go to there, then go to the ruins. Oh, we've barely scratched the surface of this. And uh, yeah, we're doing all right. We've got lots of wealth, but that's the problem. Our caravan is worth 5,700. And we have, like, no weapons. I mean, to put it in perspective, Brent's gear is a basic iron longsword. That's all we've got protecting us. And a Rottweiler who's not trained at all. So, what have we got here? Have we got anything useful? Ooh, got ruby deposit. Got onyx deposit. Ooh, this is this is too good. Too good. What's that? Jade. Jade's going to be too heavy. Got another lusty sword. <laughs> Why? Why do we have more? Uh, oh, I can see another ruby deposit, though. Oh dear, I think Brent, you're gonna be uh you're gonna be mining for a long time, my friend. Uh, rope them together. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. They're, they're a bit busy right now. <laughs> Don't rope them now. You might regret it. There we go, rope them now. You've got Pandora's box. That's a little bit terrifying having a child with Pandora's box. Oh dear. Um Green, where are you? You're up there, so that's, that's all right. Oh, we have another Onyx deposit. Oh, thank you for that. Um, we get the tiny child on mining? No. We might need your help, Brent. We've got a bit of a situation. Pawn is tired. Yeah, I know, but you have a steel militia. Oh, God. What is your gear like? All right. You're a bowman, but you're not very good at arch. Fine, okay. <laughs> that's a bit weird. Uh, Green, I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to have to get you to a blinding pulse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's needed. Brent, you're okay. You got a cracked nose. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, you actually got hit. Okay, we're fine. We're good. You carve his thumb. Excellent. Right, arm the tiny child quickly. We can't sell him into slavery, can we? He's not good at much. Um, even his clothes aren't worth much. He dropped 23. The only useful thing is the weapon he had. Tell you what, Brent, go self-tend. I think we might only be able to mine a few bits tonight. I think Brent's going to need his rest. Just the leg. The rest was fine, but that leg, that could turn nasty. Luckily, we do have some herbal, so that's fine. Oh, 0% quality. That's not good. <laughs> oh, Brent. What is your medical? Or, yeah, that's not great. Right, Brent. Okay, Um, I'll tell you what. Just mine this onyx, and that'll do. Oh, he's getting up and going. No, he's not. <laughs> And he's dead. All right, let's reform caravan then. Uh, take whatever's on the map, which is going to be another lusty sword maid. What are all these people doing? Reading the lusty sword maid. I think after we've gone to here and we've done this large ruin, it might be worth going over to the magical academy. I've got no idea what they sell, but I suppose we have to kind of go that way anyway. And after that, we will venture up to up here and we will go explore the rest of the world. And we can go through some of the lore that we've got for this world, which will be exciting. Apparently Green's leading the caravan. <laughs> That's quite funny. I suppose Brent's injured, isn't he? He's uh, with his cracked nose and his uh, stab in his leg. You gonna be okay? I, th I think so. I really hope so. Are you gonna be okay? Oh, you get a bonus from soup. Nice. Yeah, because your heat was a bit worrying, but I think you're all right. You seem fine. Right, okay. We've arrived, thankfully. Uh, let's sell this gold and the lusty sword maids. Uh, we'll sell the beers, all the uranium. We don't really need that cloth anymore. How much does that give us? 1,132. That's too much. Too much money. Do you have any weapons we can buy? Because weapons would be good. Oh, here we go. Right. Uh, war bow. Hey, they might both be really useful, actually. Let's buy them. A cloth slave outfit. Oh, God, no. Hey, I think let's get the war bow for our little tiny child. And I think that's fine. We could trade the rest in for, like, a static pulse or stun. I'm going to get you stun. 
I think that would be good. Right. And now we're going to go to here. And that should be fine. That's point two days. We should get there. And then we should be able to rest up, uh, open some chests. And then we can go and uh, take on the large ruin. I think that would be quite good. I'm conflicted about what to do with Green, whether we should recruit her. Because I feel like we should. Or we do the noble thing and take her back to... Her settlement but i'm not quite sure let me know what you think whether i should try and recruit her and train her up to be kind of like adoptive daughter or whether we should take her back let me know oh green doesn't even really have a back so she's still just a child yeah but she is a talented hunter so she could be an amazing character yeah she can be a good fighter if needed she's got plus two archery plus one melee animal handling healing permanent mood effect she is really really good and she's also a fawn I don't oh I don't like that <laughs> weak immunity yeah so immunity gear oh it's only 90% that's not horrendous readable increases chance of loving slightly fertility times 150 okay <laughs> I don't like that picture at all though carries of gene are much more submissive to others making them very easy to enslave ah that's why he's not rebelling I see well that's sad Brent set up the tents please go green you can do what you like there we go she's gonna go to sleep excellent and we should be able to get some of these chests out. We've got so many. Get the spell book out. Get the large chest out. You can y learn stun. What are we going to get from this chest then? Boom. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. A Vathan axe gun. What? This weapon is engraved with a portrayal of a solitary finch rendered in silhouette near a maze. The work represents quietude. What's a mithril? 250. This is nuts. A legendary recurve bow. What is this? Is it? It's a gun. That's twenty-one. How much is that? Twenty-four. Actually, that's better. Oh, there's another lusty sword made. Okay, right, Brent, you're gonna try and shoot this because I want to see what it's like. Oh, we got some more uranium. I can't hang around here. I might leave this campsite open. We can always come back. Got quite a good range. That'll do it. Right. What's the reload on it? I'm not going to actually risk attacking the ostrich, but that's pretty good. Uh, I think that's probably better uh, DPS than the bow, just from the fact that it's quicker reload. In that case, then, I guess you get to pick that up. We've also got a masterwork harp and three love thrall capacity serums. Uh, Brent, can you load these onto the pack animals? <laughs> okay, we just had like two things just happen. A colony settlement named Deadlift has arrived and wants to join the colony. Is willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily. We've got a new colonist. Deadlift. Oh, he's arrived. He's, he's arrived at our other settlement. Okay, you are a Neanderthal, a slow learner, lush. You're a slow learner as well as Neanderthal, which has slow study. Fifty percent learning factor, and then you're also a slow learner. Oh. Oh god, so you're going to be so slow at learning anything. Learning to 19 and double passion. Four point... I mean, a person's a person. You come with a weapon, and you've got an alcohol addiction. You are a little bit of a liability at the moment, not going to lie. Can I get you to move down? How long is it going to take you to arrive? You've got some food on you, so that's fine. You set off. Cloud watching. No, 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 no. You need to harvest some stuff. You've got no food. Come on. We've also got a koala that's self-tamed. Um, <laughs> do we want a koala? I'm not quite sure. Uh, right, Brett, if, are you... You're going for a walk, are you? Okay, we'll let you go for a walk. And it's already... It's already five o'clock. Come on. <laughs> You've spent all day doing nothing. But apparently you didn't even hit Olive up. Yeah, what are you doing? Where's the other donkey? Donkey's over there. The donkeys have got more food than us. Come on, hurry up. Okay, and Deadlift has arrived. Deadlift, you can harvest agave. You're going to be atrocious at learning, but if I can just get you on plants, that is something. So that's just... I think we're going to have to wait one more day, or at least part of the day, just to get all this food harvested. Because we need food. We just don't have enough. Get that mined up as well. Right, so what have we got? 11 berries and 53 agave fruit. Is that all the food we've got on this map, though? Probably. Okay, fine. I think it's probably best we go then before it gets any later. Approach the large ruin. Right. Okay. We're here. Already, we've got three people on the outside of the base. That does not fill me with confidence. If you've got a giant club, you've got an elven giant club. It's a huge club, too unwieldy for a normal person to use, which you are. These are quite good characters, actually. 
I can take one of these. This would be amazing. And that's a giant weapon as well. A marble giant primitive. What is it? You've just decided to take the most huge weapons that you can't possibly handle. Brent, get them hitched. Let's grab that out. Yeah, you equip that as a sidearm. Oh, you, of course, you got the wine as a sidearm. Fine. We could open a Pandora's box. I like the deadlifts just like, oh, what's this do? Just opens it as, uh, as the wrestler's screaming at him not to do that. Did it do anything? Doesn't seem to have done anything. Right, you're training the Rottweiler right now. Not sure that's the right time to be doing it. Let's do this thing. We can take them out. To be fair, green can really take them out. Blinding Pulse, we should be able to do quite a lot with. Even just stun would overload you. Really? Yeah, that's not great, is it? We'll use like Blinding Pulse as like worst case scenario. But this is just the entry. There's going to be loads of them in there. I don't know how deep we're going to want to go in, but we'll see how it goes. Right, run away. Start running. Just start running. Okay, we've hit one. No, hit the closest one. Uh, deadlift, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take a hit. I don't want green getting hit. Right, go back here. Go back here. They are one. They're just running away. Okay, you killed that one. We got some bread. Hey, and some smoke leaf joints. Excellent. Uh, how good's your healing? You're not bad at healing, are you? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you heal yourself and we'll go round and see if we get the others. That one's already injured. 22, you're not bad. You're good at mining. You're a talented hunter. If you just drop, I'm happy. No, you died. <laughs> and where's the other one? Go get hammer. He can barely walk. Frail and a bad back. One hit and he should go down. Okay, maybe not. Maybe two. You destroyed his stomach with that gun. Okay, a headshot. Nice. You took out his eye. Green, Jesus. There we go. Down. He's down. Um, ooh, get the armor. Get the armor. Get the armor. Hey, brilliant. Right, so we got some steel splinted gloves. Actually decent condition as well. Nice. Get them. Get them. You can have a little nap, and then we'll go take on this. I think if we get into this room, there might be two or three. Once we take them out... I think at that point it should say quest cleared, despite the fact that we haven't actually cleared it. Deadlift, are you going to be okay? I'm not actually that fast, but <laughs> I want to make sure you can at least survive the next wave. Uh, we might just need to get you on pots and flash them while uh, the others shoot. I think that might be a good, good tactic. Well, Green's just getting some quick learning in while we're, <laughs> while we're waiting for Deadlift to wake up. Cool. Let's go do this thing then. Okay, we've only got two. Prop sprout. Ooh, okay, Wild Heroic. Oh, and they look good. Talented Miner, your melee's all right, you're all right. Uh, you've got good gear, though. You are not as good, honestly, but you've got much better melee. Actually, you would be an amazing colonist. I would like to have you, if that's okay with you. There's one down. How are you doing, Deadlift? You okay? You've got one scratch. Okay, Woods. This is one I would kind of like to take. Oh, your left eye's been cut out. I'm so sorry, Deadlift. Just drop, just drop. You did actually drop, and we got payment for it. We've cleared the ruin. How are you doing badly? You, get hit. Brent, can you stabilize woods? Now stabilize deadlift, please. <laughs> Prioritizing a potential prisoner over our people. Let's deconstruct those two, because it looks like we've got gold on this, so that's something. Deadlift, six hours. Seven. Hours. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Apart from your eye, obviously. I'm worried this character's going to get up and escape soon. Tell you what. Um, quickly, the deadlift can wait a second. 60 wood, good. Right, okay, uh, structure, get a wooden door there. Let's get a sleeping spot there. You rescue deadlift. You work on this door. Caravan detected. Oh, no. And then what we can do is get sleeping spot for prisoners. Capture woods. There, now she's a prisoner. Good. Uh, she's got really low resistance as well. What is your religion? Supremacist light nomad. Worship the god of light. Slavery honorable. Combat in darkness despised. Ooh, permanent base is despised. Interesting. You would be quite a good colonist then to have, apart from the uh, whole supremacy thing. Okay. Uh, green, can you just clean the blood of everyone, please? That'd be great. Is this character going to be all right? I think she'll be fine. I'll get green to... Uh, clean that floor as well now do i risk doing any more is the question i reckon for anything else let's deconstruct these two can you like convert her 
She does need tending, though. She's got a few more bits that need tending. That's just a crack. Tell you what, you strip deadlift of those pots. Strip pots. Right, let's do this. Come on. One more. The slightest show of danger, I think we will go. But I think between these two, we should be fine. We can do blinding pulse or stun. And we've got these stunning grenades. I think we're going to be fine. Right, okay. We're in. So I reckon normally a wooden door means like a room at the end, I think. I think if we went through here, it would be like another maze. Through here would be another maze. Although there is a light on over there. Oh, okay. Oh, I was worried then. Okay, they're just at the uh, camp. That's fine. Right. Okay, let's try this one. Get that ready. Uh, we'll get one more shot on. Then get the pots ready. Get the pots ready there. You, get your gun ready and shoot. Right, get there, get there. No, Brent, no! Okay, got shot. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just a shot in the arm, it's fine. Right. Stunned. Now shoot him. Shoot, just shoot. Yes. Good. Right in the heart. Excellent. Right. Uh, you tend. It says that there's other storage nearby. Okay, so we're... Yeah, you just punch those gates then. Punch the steel gates. How long is that going to take? <laughs> oh, not as long as I thought. Um, do I open that chest? Brent, then. You go... Do that one. What did we get? Silver chalices and some herbal medicine. Very nice. We got some steel ingots from destroying it. Good. Right, you go to the next one then. Right. We've got a steel sarcophagus. What's going to be in that? Is that just going to be a body? Anything on the body? We've got medieval go juice. Ooh, a ruby necklace at 24%. Uh, and the ring. Now they're all tainted. Okay, just strip that one. Go. Right. Uh, large remains. You want to open the large remains? Tiny child? Ooh, gold and demon blood. Very nice. Okay. Right, two more to go. Right, some more steel. And we get a wooden chest. Right, we got... Ooh, golden bowl. Nice. Right, you open the sarcophagus. Ooh. Ooh, survival package and actual medicine. Very nice. Come on then, tiny child. You strip him. My only concern is that we've got clearly enemies nearby. Can we reform the... No, there's still enemies in the area, so we can't even reform. Right, okay, there's another sarcophagus. How long until the enemies arrive? Two days. Starvation. Deadlift. Uh, okay, you... Let's just stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. Everyone's tired. Everyone's exhausted. That's a, let's rest a little bit, and then we'll figure out what to do next. So, what we could do is we can either get the caravan animals, load everything up, and go as is... Or we attempt to uh, wipe out the enemies behind, presumably, this door. I reckon, no, no, no. I reckon we just get everything in the stockpile, get the animals over here, and we go. It looks like we've been rewarded for my decision. We've got an onyx deposit, which is huge, at our base location. 43%. That's amazing. We could actually convert you really easily. No, Olive, no! Ooh, she's pregnant. And can you tend, please? She's going to be fine. But this character's amazing, Esme Woods. If we can get her, that's going to be great. Let's try and convert her again. 12%. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Right, conversion. Uh, prisoner, then. Resistance is 7. Yeah, we're not going to have time. We've got 23 hours. Um, let's start loading everything on to the pack animals, then. If I anesthetize, can I then carry her off the map? Oh, yes, carry and leave the area. Carry and leave the area. You then carry deadlift and leave the area. All the animals have gone. Come on, we can do this. So I don't want to risk that, and I do not want to uh, risk anything else. Slaves unattended yet. Uh, she should have... Oh, no. Fine. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. Right, we did it. Look at all the stuff we've got, though. That's so nice. We could have got so much more, though. I mean, that was a large ruin. If we had enough time, we probably could have, like, just let them starve themselves out. But we still got quite a lot more than i was hoping to get so i'm pretty happy about all that so i'm gonna go grab some food from nearby settlement sell everything that we've got and do not need and i'm gonna set up a little base so that we can start recruiting woods but i'm gonna leave it there so thank you so much for watching if you like what's in please leave a like and subscribe a massive thank you to all my patreon and youtube members clint david len valise lobby lord t chaos tall man natural cheese mike sound tracking and forms skylar burchell charles mint salad lax ryan heretic and codry pierce cheers guys you're all just amazing thank you so so much so yeah i will see you next time cheers bye bye